In this video, I will show you how to stop ebook piracy. Pirates can strip the ebook DRM used by most publishing platforms in seconds, impacting an author's bottom line. Thankfully, there are more secure alternatives available for selling ebooks online. You may be wondering then what steps you should be taking to ensure the long term security of your ebook. We'll be discussing several threats ebooks face today and how you can remedy them with the right ebook protection tools. To provide any real copy protection for your ebook, then you need to go outside the traditional ebook DRM offerings and publishing platforms. The best way for publishers to stop ebook piracy is to use LockWizard's dedicated PDF DRM solution, which does away with passwords entirely. Protected PDF files are locked to individual devices, requiring the user to download a secure viewer and activate a license before being able to view it. As the license can only be registered on a set number of PCs, which you decide, and eBooks cannot be decrypted without a secret key, which the user cannot access, there's no way for the user to pirate eBooks. The pirate would have to manually type out the entire contents of the book, which would require a huge amount of time and determination. This makes Lockless DRM your best bet when it comes to ebook protection. You can use Lockless to prevent printing, copying and pasting, and other methods of unauthorized sharing of your ebook, including screenshots. This is something software such as Adobe Acrobat is unable to do. Individual customers, individual documents, or complete ebooks can be suspended at any time should you need to instantly revoke access. Access can also be revoked automatically after a number of views and or prints. Here's how you apply anti-piracy measures to your ebook using the PDF Writer application. So first open Windows Explorer, Locate the ebook you wish to protect, right click on the PDF and choose Make Secure PDF. In the Printing and Viewing tab, here you can select Allow Printing. If you want to allow your ebook to be printed, you can also limit the number of views and log document views. This will provide details of how often your ebook is being viewed and by whom. And in the Environment Controls tab, as well as preventing screen capture, you can also add a screen mask to stop users typing text displayed in the protected ebook into another window. In the Expiry and Validity tab, optionally, your ebooks can be set to expire on a certain date or after a number of days from first use. In the View Watermarks and Print Watermarks tabs, here you can add permanent and dynamic watermarks to viewed and printed pages. Dynamic variables, date, time, username, company name, email address, are replaced with actual user and system data when the ebook content is displayed and or printed. You only have to protect an ebook once in order to customize it for multiple users. Adding dynamic watermarks can also help deter photos being taken of ebook content. Once added, watermarks cannot be edited in any way or removed. Copyright and watermarks. Watermarks can be controversial in ebook publication, but they may be necessary if you're protecting sensitive content. While likely not suitable for a novel, watermarks on training books and other important documentation allow you to clearly assert your copyright and identify users. Once you're happy with your choice of controls, click Publish. Your ebook will now be fully encrypted and all DRM controls will be applied. Click OK. The newly protected ebook now has a .pdc extension. This is now a protected PDF file, which can only be opened with a Lockless Secure PDF viewer. As an authorized user, if I double click to open the ebook, the Safeguard Secure Viewer will open and load the document. The first visible control showing 
is the watermark I selected for viewing documents. In this case, it shows the user's name, company, email address, and date and time viewed, and is displayed on all pages. Watermarks displayed like this can also deter photos of the ebook being taken and shared. There are no editing controls, and users cannot edit the text in any way or copy it. It can only be viewed. Despite copying and editing being disabled, users can still add annotations, such as notes and markups. In this case, the print icon is greyed out, showing printing is disabled, and that also includes the use of print screen, control P, and any other form of taking prints. If users try to take a screenshot of the ebook, it is totally blacked out. When you are finished with the ebook, Close the viewer, close Windows Explorer.